Hi, welcome to Wise Gardens. This video is an uh, introduction about solving quadratic equation. And the quadratic equation is the standard form is ax plus bx plus c equals 0. So on the left side is ax squared plus bx plus c is a quadratic function. So y equals ax squared plus bx plus c is the quadratic function. We're looking for this function is equals 0. What is x value? Actually, the quadratic uh, function is a parabola, is a curve, right? It's not straight line, it's curved because it has square. It's curved. This parabola is sometimes maybe touching the x-axis, so that's why we're looking for the x. If the parabola touching the x-axis, we got a solution. That's why solving quadratic equations actually is looking for where the parabola touching the x-axis make the function equal to zero. And sometimes maybe the parabola is touching x-axis two points, which is in quadratic equation, there are two different number of answers two different value of answers. S maybe um, sometimes the quadratic parabola is touching the x-axis only one point, which is the vertex touching the x-axis. That situation only has one answer. That's why we call it two identical solutions. And sometimes maybe the parabola is not touching the x-axis at all. That's why is you cannot find any x and make the function equal to zero. That's why we call this is no solution. That's why I gave you briefly introduction about the quadratic function and uh, to solving quadratic equations. So first of all, if have two, the first situation has two different solutions which is the parabola whatever the whatever the parabola upside down or open upward or open downward they have two point touching the axis two point, right? Can be this way or can be yeah, this way. And or maybe upside down this way. So whatever open downward or up, upward, they have two point touching the x-axis, which is two different solutions. And how do we know it is, if we can predict? So that's why this is the, the key to predict if the quadratic function has two solution or one solution or no solution. So the second one is one solution which we call two identical solutions. That means only touching the x-axis at one point, 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 at one point or at one point somewhere here. It doesn't matter which. Or maybe happen. 
3 is no solution. That means the parabola is not touching here. Open upward, open upward, not touch. Open downward, right? Open downward, any place can be happen, but not touching the x axis at all, right? So that situation we call no solution. Right, x to one, no solution. So next, uh, I show you how can we predict. That's why there is we call this discriminant, discriminant, which is b square minus four ac. The b is the coefficient of f x, a is the coefficient of x squared, c is the constant. If b squared minus four ac is we call discriminant, if this is a, they can be uh, greater zero or less than zero or equal zero. It can be equal zero. It's three different situations, right? For if b square minus four a c greater than zero, and then we have two different solutions. If b square minus four a c equals zero, then we have two identical solutions. If b square minus four a c is is less than zero. Then no solution. Let's look at the, some examples. For example, we have b square minus four ac is greater than zero. The first situation had two different answer. So like x square minus three x plus two equals zero. We can calculate in the B. This is a, a equal to one, B equal negative three, C equal positive two. Then we can calculate this one at B square minus four AC equals negative three square minus four time one time two, which is this is nine minus eight equal one, which is greater than zero. So this situation, we have two solutions. Actually, we can, like this one, we can factor in, like this question, we can factor in. We have x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. We can use the factoring method. This one is x, x. Looking for two number one is minus 1, one is minus 2. Then we got x1 equals 1, x2 equals 2, right? x1 minus 1 equals 0. Or x minus 2 equals 0. We got this one, or this solution, right? This solution. Also, we can use formula, right? If using formula, we have the formula is this is a factoring method. And this question is factor. We use the formula. The formula is x equals negative b plus minus square root b square minus four ac over two a. In this method, we still can solve it. But two times one, negative b, negative negative three, plus minus square root. This one is negative three square minus four times one times two. 
this gave us the answer is 3 plus minus square root of 1 over 2. So then you can see x1 equals 3 plus 1, square root of 1 equals 1, divided by 2 equals 2. x2 equals 3 minus 1 divided by 2, 3 minus 1 equals 2 divided by 2 equals 1, right? So you have two solutions, 1 is 1, 1 is 2, right? So this situation we can see it's uh, yeah the first uh, situation the second situation is b square minus four ac equals zero and we say for example we have question is x square minus six x plus nine equals zero. This situation we can see we use factory method, have this one, have x x minus minus this is uh, six, this is nine, so square of this one three, three, right? So we have uh, two identical solutions. Actually, this one also you can write x minus 3 square equals 0, right? That's why we have x equals 1, x equals 2 equals 3. That's why this is only one solution, right? Also, if you're using formula, you see formula is x equals negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a equals negative negative 6 plus minus square root b square and negative 6 square minus 4 times a times c c which is 9 and we have 2 times 1 in this case we can see inside this is 6 plus minus inside the square root is 36 minus 36, which is 0, right? 36, negative 6 squared equals 6, 36. 4 times 1 times 9 equals 36. It equals 0. So that's why b squared minus 4 is equals 0. That's why this situation x equals 6 over 2 equals 3, right? Equals 3, right? Plus minus. If plus 0, and it equals 3 minus 0 equals 3. So as this situation, x1 equals x2 equals 3. The third situation is b square minus 4ac less than 0. For example, the question I see is x square. This question we have minus 5x. This uh, if plus, we give it a number. If this is uh, 10, we give it 10, uh, 10 equals 0. So we can see this situation. If you use factory, you can see there are no number 1 time 10, 2 time. 5 is never make a negative 5 because plus 10. So if you use b squared minus 4ac, a discriminant to predict if there is a solution. So we can use b squared minus 4ac equal negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10. We have 25 minus 40 which is negative 15, right? So which is less than 0, at this situation, no solution. And this is using discriminant. If you're graphing this function, if you're graphing this function, also you can find there's no point touching the x-axis. This is presented by 
wise guys.